this guy's legally blind. Does that make me illegally blind? I guess I gotta be careful, I might get sighted. <laughs> Today's video, we have a special guest. It's our friend James Raff. Now James, a legally blind YouTuber. James, how are you? Tell me a little about yourself. I uh, make movies about accessibility, about blindness, about uh, technology, and I was born uh, legally blind with uh, albinism and stagmus, which was triggered from the albinism. My eyes constantly see vertigo and are constantly moving involuntarily back and forth. Today we're going to explore the differences between someone who's blind since birth like myself or somebody who's legally blind like James. Now we could sit here and tell you definitions, you know, of what each one is like, but we thought it'd be more fun uh, to illustrate the differences by using daily scenarios that we both have to uh, deal with. The great Ben Churchill, who records, produces, directs, and edits all these videos, is going to be asking us a bunch of questions. All right, James? All right, sounds great. Ben, take it away. One of the complaints about American money is that people who are blind can't tell the difference between one bill and another. Can you tell me the denomination of that bill in front of you? Yes. Five dollar bill. Now how can you tell? Sight. <laughs> <laughs> the print is pretty pretty big. Even though it's like blurry, um, because it's something familiar I, I, I deal with, on a daily basis, I'm still able to sort of distinguish it between other bills pretty often. Sometimes it'll be like a $1 bill and a $10 bill and like, you know, I'll only really see the uh, the one and kind of get confused with that sometimes. Tommy, can you tell me the denomination of the bill that's in front of you? No, I can't see it. It's the same size as any other piece of American currency and I don't know, I have no idea what this is. You wanna take a guess? I'll guess, I'll say, it seems pretty crinkly. I will say this is a $5 bill. No, it's a 20. That's a 20. That's a beat up 20. You got a crappy ATM, don't you? <laughs> Next is a coin. Can you tell me the year written on the coin in front of you? Okay, so it's definitely a, a quarter. And the year, oh, can I use my phone? Go for it. So the iPhone in iOS 10 has Magnify, which basically acts as like a portable magnify glass or a CCTV and allows me to use the camera to lock focus and change the filter to be more comfortable with my eyes. Um, oh, I think I may have found it. 2006? You're correct. Holy mackerel. Wow. Tommy, can you tell me the year written on the coin in front of you? Nope. <laughs> what method do you use to read a book? If ever, uh, try to do audiobooks or uh, if it's available on like a computer or a tablet, I can try and have that read it to me. I cannot read books. I've never really been able to get through a whole chapter on my own because my eyes get so tired after just like two paragraphs of trying to read because everything's just a constant like blur, like all the words are just in my field of views meshing together. Uh, I do wish I learned Braille growing up. I, I think it's just because I, I passed too much as sighted for, for my visual specialist and it was never offered to me. I use audiobooks as well, but I can read Braille if I, if I had to, but um, I prefer an audiobook or of course the, uh, the iPhone in the bookstore can read me a book too. So those are the methods I use. Can you drive a car legally? <laughs> No. <laughs> you want to see me try? Got to be somewhere remote though. <laughs> Otherwise, someone's going to lose a limb. Negative. No, <laughs> I'm not allowed to legally, but I do know how to drive a car. I can even drive standard. I, you know, I learned in college, the kids took me out, you know, three o'clock in the morning, driving up like Main Street out of Bridgeport and toward Trumbull, if you know that area. I've driven on Northern Boulevard in Queens. We even drove in a video. How do you walk around the neighborhood alone? During the day, I can kind of get around. I oftentimes will rely on my ears a little bit more. So when I get up to the edge of a sidewalk, uh, I listen for which way the, the traffic's going. Sometimes I'll just use my phone to zoom into the crosswalk signal. And that's one way I can sort of make that out. And, but I still gotta rely on my eyes because LA drivers are pretty um, unpredictable to, to say. I've almost been hit quite a few times. And then at night, I use a cane uh, to, to navigate and uh, feel my way around. I use it, I'm a cane traveler, so I use my cane all the time. 
you know, when I walk down the sidewalk and I can sort of feel there's those sort of bumps, right, where the crosswalk is, I'll reach my, my cane back and see if there's a pole. And that means I have to push the button to cross. So that's how I do it, but I use the cane all the time. How do you cook food alone? I usually don't cook. I, I lived in an apartment that didn't have a kitchen for like the last year. So I just got a kitchen. I'm excited to start cooking. But before that, I did cook a little bit at home. Are there any specific products that you use to help cook? Uh, no. Are there some that could help? I use the George Foreman grill. I love that thing. It is amazing because I'm afraid to flip things. I'm afraid to flip a burger. I'm afraid to flip, uh, you know, a piece of chicken or whatever. So the George Foreman grill is fantastic because it does both sides at once. And I use a toaster oven too, like if I want to make fries or something like that as a side. So that's how I cook. I need a George Foreman grill. <laughs> it's, dude, it's amazing. It's, it's incredible. I'll do that, yeah. James, this was awesome. Thank you so much. And please don't forget to check out James's channel. He's got some short films that he's made. And we've also done a collab video together, me and James. It's all about audio description. So you can find the link right there on screen or in the description below. Of course, you might recognize James from our Pokemon video we did. And uh, James actually played a sighted person. Nice acting there, pal. Hey, thank you. Uh, my mom, she was very proud of me. Was she? I was, I was the sighted son she never had. I also drove on Interstate 91. I drove from New Haven up into North Haven, from uh, exit two to exit 12, because my brother-in-law was drunk and he thought it'd be a better idea if I was in the driver's seat and he'd help me out with the wheel and I worked the pedals. And you got home safely. Got home perfect. I'm still here. <laughs>